Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome along to another day in the life of Jag. Sun is shining, but today is a rather sad day, folks. I'm going to a funeral, two o'clock this afternoon. It is my old lollipop lady, Helen Black. It's her funeral. I've known her since I was that high. Um, she got me across the road at the local school down the road there uh, for goodness knows a lot of years anyway. And I've known her for ages. She comes to the bingo all the time. She lives just over the road there and she just died last week so very sad indeed so I need to go to the funeral and that'll be happening at two o'clock today. So that's the uh, the first thing to tell you today. Now the other thing I have for you here folks is a mystery object. See if you can see or see if you can tell what these are. Now, then, now I'm sure Gary Stewart will know what these are. Okay, look at this, we've got two of them. There we go. Kind of made of sort of some sort of ceramic-y stuff. Got MIDI 90 on it, and there's a number in the middle of that one, which is 16. And this one has number 12 in the middle of it. So there you go. I wonder if you can guess what these strange objects are used for. Now, once I was once I was a young boy, I played the silver ball. Start again. Right, I did promise you at one point I'll give you a review of this Rolson multi-tool that I used to take apart the Rody Raven. It's a fantastic thing. I got it for $4.99 from B&M or M&Bs or Home Bargains, one of those shops anyway. It's a great multi-tool. It's got uh, a very sturdy knife on it and that opens up. I mean look you've got a handle and a, a really uh, hefty cutting device there. You've got uh, a bottle opener and another kind of knife there. Look at that. And also in this one there is a very strong, let me just put these knives down so you can actually see it, got a very strong saw. So again you've got a good handle there to saw Excellent, look at that, it's got a great blade on it. And there's a kind of like a file on that surface as well. Now then, you can actually open it up as well from here. And look, you've got sort of like a clamp and a wire cutters in there as well. And you've got a great dish, 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 dish hammer device. And in amongst here, we have a crosshead screwdriver. Look at that, so you can get into your your screws, and there was something else, where is it? No, oh, I can't remember now. No, oh, I think it must have just been it then, was that it? Yes. But there's also this claw thing to get your nails out as well, so. And, oh, oh, <laughs> be careful. So there we go, an excellent multi-tool. It's, it's pretty heavy, it's, it's a good, it's good, good quality. There we go, look at that. Now I know David Pugh, hello David. He got one of these, but he didn't, he wasn't too fond of the hammer, so he, it off and was left with just a little multi-tool here but very substantial well made solid for 4 99 that's a great multi-tool as I said I used it to dismantle an amplifier basically so it is it comes with me on all my adventures now uh, it's it's just a great thing to have about look at that and it comes in a little pouch as well so if you do want one 4 99 or is that 3 99 I can't actually remember now from one of those home bargains b &M's store. Look at that. Fits on your belt. Fantastic. Definitely gets a 9 out of 10 on the multi-tool ometer. Thank you. Do, 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 to boldly go where no man has gone before. Do, 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 do. Into Jag's brain. Look at this. I got this from a box of toys that my father was throwing out a long, long time ago. Now, when I got it, I thought oh, I'll just be a bit of junk, but you know what? It's actually pretty lethal, man. It's got the torpedoes still in it. So this sun's playing havoc here. It's still got the torpedoes in there, which come out at a phenomenal rate, a phenomenal rate, folks. I'm telling you, they come flying out. Watch this. Oh, hang on. Maybe they don't come out. No, they do, honestly. Oh, there we go. Did you see that? Wow. They go pinging out. And I've got two of them in here. And actually at the bottom of here as well, which is, you know, these things you would think will get lost. But no, look at this. 
when you open it up, you've got Spock's space shuttle still in there. Whoops. There we go. Look at that. Now, I don't know how much this is worth. Probably not a lot. I actually I did check on eBay or online anyway. But, you know, these things, you really have to have them in the box and in mint condition. This one is in mint condition. But it's still got the photon torpedoes. And it's still got the space shuttle below, which is pretty, pretty good. So, there we go. Look at that. The US Enterprise. Compare that to the one I got um, with the Star Trek magazine that came out uh, a few months ago. So, you got this basically free um, with the magazine that was only one ninth nine so I thought well why not but look at the difference that that compared to that this is the one that's used in the, the new series I'd imagine compared to the old I like the old one much better look at that Ooh, warp drive great stuff though I love Star Trek Oh, crikey, that was a quick drive. Right, I'm here at the crematorium, folks. As I said, funeral today, very sad one. This is my uh, old lollipop lady. Um, yeah, sad. Um, you never get a place to park in the crematorium. It's always very difficult. So I'm just going to park here today and just walk over. I probably won't know anybody, actually. I might know a couple of folk, but um, generally I think I'm on my own in this one. So uh, anyway, here we go. I'm at Burger King, folks. Get him. Ooh, two cheeseburgers, yes, starving. Right folks, that's my afternoon over. Now, stay tuned folks, there will be a video tonight coming up as Jag hits the town folks. Yes indeed, I'm going out, staff night out tonight. Whew, stay tuned and enjoy. <laughs> 